So here's me and Tish at Rasada Pier. We're going to be going to Koh Phi Phi, and this is just a quick video to show you how to get from Phuket to Koh Phi Phi if you're going to be traveling in Thailand. So I know that many of you are planning trips throughout this next year and PP is definitely on your list. Whether you're heading to the stunning Maya Bay or seeking a tranquil escape in paradise on one of PP's many beautiful beaches, I have some insights on the best way to get to the island. There are two major ferry companies to consider. First, there is PP Cruiser. Tickets start at just $13 or 450 baht. And for an extra dollar, you can opt for a pickup service from your hotel. The ferries operate from 8.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Depending on your location, or if you make your way to the pier yourself, the journey can take between two to three hours. Next, there's Andaman Wavemaster. The tickets are priced at $15 or 550 baht. They run a bit later from 8.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. I personally prefer this option because I don't like hurrying in the mornings. The trip duration also varies between one to three hours, depending on when you depart and where you're headed. For convenience, I recommend booking through one to go They offer online reservations for both of these companies, plus several others. One to go offer a hassle-free approach and I often use their platform for my trips, especially when I'm on the go, because it saves both time and money. If you're unfamiliar with one to go they're a one-stop solution for budget travelers. They cater to all local transport types and providers, that's buses, planes, trains, you name it. Their website is accessible in 24 languages and they offer 24 seven support. On top of all this, they accept both international and local payment methods, which is great for travelers from anywhere in the world. Check out the link in the description, I've left it for you below. And now we are excited to get to PP. We got to PP, yeah? 